In this Madden 22 tip, we're going to be breaking down one of my favorite concepts that was in Madden 22, and this is actually going to be something that's really, really good in Madden 23. This is a route combination that a lot of people went to over the course of this season that was able to both be man-to-man -man and zone, as well as match coverage as well, and I think this is going to still be one of the better plays in Madden 23, and so I just want to break it down for you in this video. Now, if you're watching this, uh, my channel is entirely designed to help people get better at Madden every day. We go over route combos, defensive setups, things like that that can help you get better. And with Madden 23 right around the corner, we're going to be ramping up our content here on the channel, posting multiple videos a day uh, to help you get better at Madden. So if you want to join, uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Also, if you want all of my Madden uh, eBooks, I've got a ton of Madden 22 eBooks, and a lot of that stuff's going to transfer over to Madden 23. And we're also going to be putting in some kind of beta stuff that we found in the beta into our membership. So if you join the Patreon, that is linked down in the description. You can get access to all of my Madden eBooks. I've got over over 30 Madden 22 offensive and defensive ebooks in there, and we're planning to do even more for Madden 23. So if you want to sign up for that, the link is down below. Uh, but guys, really excited to share this with you. This is a setup that you can actually do this out of a lot of different plays, and I want to show that in this video, but I want to first show the foundational principle, and then we'll cover uh, how to do this out of multiple sets. So the play is out of the Washington playbook. You can find this in almost every playbook in the game. It's gun bunch verticals, and we're mainly going to be calling this play for the crossing route to the slot receiver in the bunch formation. Now what you want to do is you want to put your bunch to the short side of the field for this um, so you can easily flip your bunch uh, to whichever side you want to run this from. In this example you see here we're on the short side of the field and the setup is fairly simple. We're going to block our tight end. This is going to help us pick up any pressure that they may send. If they're not sending pressure I'm going to give you an alternate setup in just a moment but if they are sending pressure I would recommend blocking your tight end. It's one of the best pass protection methods in Madden 22. In Madden 23 you might want to block your running back um, and then you might want to put your tight end on a route like this um, but you know we're not in Madden 23 yet so anyways we'll just block our tight end. Then we're going to put our running back on a quick out route. This is going to be great against man to man. It's going to force them to have to hard flat the bunch side. And then lastly, we're going to put our outside bunch receiver on a quick in route. Now, you could smart route this route if you wanted to. I actually don't like to. I think it's better spacing without it. Uh, but you certainly could smart route this route. And we're just going to motion this guy out a little bit. And what you're going to see here is our first read is our running back to the quick flat. If our running back is open to the quick flat, we're going to take that every single time. What this is going to force your opponent to do is it is going to force them. Let's say they're in a cover three. It's going to force them to shade their coverage underneath so that they can stop this running back quick route. What this is now going to open up is our deep crosser that's going to run right into this nice little sweet spot right here. As you can see, it gets into kind of an interesting little window against cover three. So what this is going to force your opponent to do now is now they're going to have to go to some kind of double Mabel setup like this where they have two uh, flat zones. Um, so I'll just kind of give you a little bit of a, uh, an example. Basically what they're going to really have to do, honestly, is kind of cover to the side. But this crosser gets over every zone drop in the game. It's what makes this so good. And so we can actually throw this. There's a window, especially if we run it from the short side. We can throw the ball um, once he gets over the top of the cloud on the left side. So I'll show that again. So again, we're just going to put this guy in a cloud. And then on this back side, I'll put a vertical hook just to kind of show and the beauty of this in route is it's one of the best checkdowns in the game. If you think about these in routes, this has been one of the best checkdowns in the game for a really long time. Um, what makes this so good is it just drags across the field, and so it runs through every zone. So you can hit hit it early, you can hit it middle, you can hit it late. That's why this route is so good as a checkdown. So again, you see here, if we have time, this right here is going to be wide open. As you see, it gets over the top of the cloud flat. And then this is going to force them to basically have to user the crosser. And so what this does for us, because they have to user uh, the crosser, now that's going to take their user out of the middle of the field where the in route is going to be the perfect check down because it's going to come through every underneath zone. They have to have four underneath zones to take this away. So as you can see, he's going to get open right there. And we're able to throw this for, I think that was almost 30 yards of a gainer. 
Now, like I said in the beginning, I wanted to show you how to do this out of multiple formations because it's not just a bunch concept. It's really a four verticals concept. And I'll also go ahead and set some zone drops here uh, so that you can see how deep these crossers get uh, over the top of zones. So if we were to just go, let's say that we were just to go to like this gun wide trips uh, weak uh, formation. You see that it has this four verticals play with the tight end on the crosser. Now, um, this isn't ideal because we do want to block our tight end. So maybe we can go over here to the tray open. Uh, this might be a little bit better. But basically, you see here, just find any four verticals. It, it doesn't really matter like what formation it is from. Let me see if I have anything in the doubles. The problem with doubles is their four verticals are a little different. Uh, as you can see, they're more streaks. But you're looking for a four verticals that has that number three receiver on a really deep crosser. Fake jet HBC could be an example uh, of something like that. But anyways, I just want to show you real quick that this is something you can do. It's something that's really good out of trips tight end, by the way. Uh, but anyways, let's just add a tray open. So you see here we're on the short side of the field. The tight end is running the the, the deep crosser. This running back is kind of running an interesting little little route as well. Um, you could leave him on that route, but we could just put the running back on the out route. We can put circle on that in route. Now, if I was in a spread out look like this, I might want to smart route that in route, but you can put him on whatever. Um, it's fine. And then you're just going to motion this guy to the left, and you're going to basically turn him into a tight end. You're going to snap the ball once he gets here. You see now you're going to have a double team right here. And as you can see, it's the same basic principle that we were just teaching you out a bunch. So, you know, I just wanted to do that to show you that these concepts cross apply a lot in Madden. Um, a concept that works in bunch might also work in trips tight end. It might also work in wide trips weak. These are all um, concepts, not just money plays from one formation. You can apply this to all kinds of things. So again here, I put a 30 yard cloud on that side. You see I've got this nice pass protection. My quick out is actually open here. I could have taken it there, but you see I can throw this over the top of that 30 yard cloud to a tight end that's super slow. You put someone in there that's fast, it's gonna be even better. Anyways, guys, just wanted to break that down for you. Thanks for watching the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And also, if you want to get all of my Madden offensive and defensive ebooks, including our Gun Bunch offense, make sure that you join my Patreon. It's only $10 to sign up. It'll get you access to all of our Madden 22 content. In addition to that, you'll also get a lot of our Madden 23 stuff as long as your membership is active. With August coming uh, today, today's first day in August, with Madden 23 coming out in two weeks, we're going to have a ton of stuff this month for Madden. So it's a great time to sign up for the patreon that way you can learn all the man 22 stuff and as soon as the man 23 stuff drops you'll get immediate access to that so if you want to sign up for that make sure you join by clicking the link in the description below thanks for watching we'll see you guys next time